ball out. Two for five is crow. Five screws, five screws down in here, yeah. okay. And that's underneath the seats. And bolt at the back. This bolt on the back, okay, and this bolt is this one right here. That's going to be a 3 8 uh, ratchet wrench you're going to use with it, and a Phillips uh, drive on the front. And just unbolt that. So that shows you the area of where it is. We have also a screw so in the screws. corner. Oh, normally I use a 45 degrees. Okay, so the screws in the corner there, running say in 45 degree or 90 degree um, angle chucked there for your drill to get that out. Okay, so you just have one more spot running right down yeah, here. The so there's a block right down here that we see. Yeah, two screws there. There's two screws in there, okay. And that's underneath the gunnel pad there. And it just screws right into the seat face itself. Pull that, slide that out. Oh, oh. sorry. He yeah, just uh, noticed that we have some wiring that he has to disconnect. There. So we're going to want to move that right out of the way. Are we going to have to cut the wiring, Ronnie, or is it going to be yeah. long enough? We're going to cut the clamp first, then I get a. So there's some clamps in underneath. I'm just going to undo. And those wires go to the one light there. Come out of your way, and you'll just want to take it out of the boat. Have another person to help you, so you can pass it to them. And that gives you free and open access to the whole thing. The same goes for the other side, the same procedure. Um, just remove all those screws, as in this, this side here. Exact same setup. Oops, there you go. Sit that on. So we use a Sika Flex, a caulking on these bolts. Um, these bolts will be supplied to you with your um, kit that you have. So you put the washer onto the bolt and then the caulking around it. As you can see, we are putting tons on enough that it's going to do some sealing. Okay, that waterproof the system, waterproof the frame. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the first one.
Yeah. So, we have uh, four holes. So there's four holes that are underneath here. Yeah. So the bolt goes up into it. So the holes are they uh, drilled into the swim platform first, right, Kolar? Yeah. Yep. So those holes you'll have to drill into the boat itself. But they'll be on the swim platform. So the bolt's right underneath there. As you can tell, we have a nice apparatus for holding our swim platform up. You will need a few people or build your own little apparatus to hold this swim platform up as well. So same side, or the other side, same, same procedure. Push the bolt through. Now, okay, so now that all the upholstery seats are out, we're going to take the Sika on the inside. The bolts are through the swim platform. We're just going to take the Sika, caulking, and just put it around there, just a dollop around the bolt the whole way. And then put the washer nut on. Put it on anti seize. And they'll put anti seize onto the bolt as well. Um, you want to do that because stainless on stainless will or can gall on you. So you definitely want to make sure you have that. So the next step will be to tighten it down. What size of socket do you use, Kohler? The 9 16 So 9 16 deep with an extension on it. A 6 inch extension is what he's using on a wrap wrench there. And, the and then we also have a wrench on the other side. So it's a two-person job to put this platform on. So, what size drill bit do we use again? 1164. 1164 drill bit. And uh, this fits around nicely. So that should be flush to the hole yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. And then up at the top, yeah. your bracket goes onto that one stringer yeah. on the platform. Yeah. You will put the uh, three inch by three eight uh, bolts. Three inch by three eight bolt. Okay. I'm just gonna take a video of that. Okay. So and that's yeah. the bolt that we use. Number twelve by one inch. And then it's number twelve by one inch for yeah. going into the hole there. Yeah. All of this will be Sika flex, so it becomes watertight. Okay. Yeah, so you want to make sure that once you've done drilling the holes, you countersink your holes. You can fracture uh, your fiberglass or chip it out. So he's just filling the holes now with some Sika Flex. So those holes are right filled up with the Sika Flex there. So now he's got two screws in there. I'll get the third and move up to the top. Three eighths. Okay, come on, see. So three eighths drill bit. Drill through those holes. Up top of the braces. So go through one side first. Now it's come through the other side. Drill right through. That's drilled right through now. To the bolt that we showed earlier.
pressure. Do you use any Cicaflex on this part? No, 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 no Cicaflex needed. It's, it's not going to sink the boat or anything like that with that on. Washer, lock washer. And there's some anti seize on there. You tighten that down, and that is the installation of the bar. So you'll have two of these bars, one on each side. There is a port side bar and a starboard, starboard side bar. Um, they are different for the angles that lead up to the hall. So make sure you test it first before you start drilling holes.